there now from a game week uh, for you guys. Uh, how, how different was it on the practice field today? Oh, it was intense. You know, we're getting ready for game. we ready to go straight uh, Louisville. We're getting ready. Yeah, from a defensive standpoint, how different is, is a confidence going into this first game after having worked with Muschamp in the spring and now through fall camp? Um, we got great confidence, uh, great communication with the guys. Uh, we're responding really well. We're uh, getting ready and focused, uh, responding well with each other's defensive unit. Uh, Everything is uh, filling in the plate. Three, I think I asked you a few weeks ago about your leadership, but you've been through all the preseason camp. How are the guys reacting to you back there now? Um, the guys reacting great. Um, they, uh, you know, I'm, uh, you know, taking on a big role, making me kind of checks and all that. You know, um, the guys are responding really well. Um, you know, we communicate. Like on that secondary, uh, we, we we communicate very great as a team, as a unit. Anything that goes on, you know, we all gonna communicate with each other and uh, you know, safety's gonna make the call, make the right call. Are you and Trey close at all? Or what's that relationship? Like? Yes, sir. Me and him are close. What do you guys talk about off the field? Do you guys talk football a lot, or do you? Yeah, we talk about everything, you know, football, um, <coughs> just different things, you know. We, we just, uh, you know, me and him, we need to stay uh, together more than anybody. Cause me and him, we're back there playing with each other. And, uh, you know, for us two, you know, we got to stay on the same page. We talked about the uh, defensive backs that joined the team since the end of spring practice. How are those guys doing? Those guys are doing really good. Carlton Davis, he's doing really great making plays out there. Jeremiah Denson, he's doing really great too, making plays. Um, you know, those guys are really fitting in well. Even um, even JD, he, he's fitting in too. Like all those guys, you know, they come here responding well, um, you know, straight out of high school. They're doing some great things out there. Rudy, give us your best story about Coach Much Champ's intensity. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he wants the best out of us, and um, he um, and that's going to be, that's high demand, and um, that's what we're going to give him. And, you know, you got to come to work every day, every day of practice, no days off. Um, you got to be locked in, tuned in. If you're not locked in, tuned in, you're going to hear about it from him. And um, but other than that, though, he wants the best out of us. And we'll he seems notorious so for his sideline manner in games. Is ratcheted it up to that point in practice? Or did you get to see the full uh, muster? Oh, yes, sir. We, we see come much time, go to you, come much time. And, um, <laughs> you know, that's what we're going to get. And uh, we, we're, we're going to respond well to him. Whatever, whatever he gives us, you know, we're going to spawn well to this team as deep as you. So if any, any of our guys try to act, that's not going to happen. We all going to respond well to them and uh, go out there and make plays. Rudy, how hard is it when you are learning learning a new defense to then translate that from the practice field to the game to a game for the first time? Um, co coming in to learn a new defense, it's going to be, uh, you know, you got to have your head on swivel, eyes in the right spots. So you got to be a disciplined football player and, uh, you know, that, that's gonna, it's going to be hard at first, trying to get adjusted to, um, you know, different motions, anything the offense try to give you. But um, as long as you got confidence in yourself and, uh, you know, anything is possible, you can do anything out there. Is that great confidence can do anything. Sorry, is that going to be key, Rudy? Because it seems like Louisville likes to give you a lot of eye candy pre-snap and a lot of stuff to look at before they even snap the ball. Is yeah. that key going to be going to be really important this week? Yeah, the key is really I mean, this one, us being a diff, disciplined uh, defensive unit. Even though it's not, it's not really a similar offense, I mean, you have to, that's an important thing in playing against your own offense too, isn't it? Oh, yes, So does that help you in that respect? Yes, sir. Being disciplined, it's going to help you out through the whole defense. What makes Louisville's passing attack different from they would you see? Um, they, they got a couple of um, different formational sets that, uh, that we have looked at. And uh, just, uh, just uh, to see how they uh, operate it. Um, you know, it's, it's making it a little bit, it's, it's not really difficult for us. It, it's just um, us all getting adjusted to it and everybody making uh, the right calls, the right sets of uh, going to the formations and everything. But we adjust it well, you know, it's, it's no problem. When you look at Louisville offense, what is it about it that impresses you the most? Um, their offense, um, that impresses me the most is when they, uh, they see how they use, when they uh, use the double tight end. To uh, one side, that, that's, that's been impressive. Uh, the way when they when they motion the guy back over to try to uh, do some eye candy, just you know, um, to try to get the defense to look at something else while they throw another um, pass around at you. Like what 
about Blake County? Is it continuing to do well in practice? Yeah, Blake County's a team doing great things. He's uh, he, he's a tremendous athlete. He's a great player. Um, he's been stepping up and uh, he's doing great things out there with us. How important is it going to be to have a guy like Bad who's experienced and can play multiple positions? That's going to be very important. Going into this first game, even through the season, very important. The guy that's um, been there, uh, played college level, at the collegiate level, um, that's going to be very important for us. Even back there as a defensive unit, um, you know, we got to have some depth. And, uh, you know, this is very important because, you know, also um, him playing corner and uh, he can help some of the young guys and stuff like that. You know, anybody going to want to swap out plays and stuff like that. He'll be on the sideline communicating, tell us what he sees and stuff like that. So it's, it's very important. What, what have you tried to do with the freshmen try to get them to understand what it's like to play in front of 60, 70,000 people, especially in Georgia Dome week one? Um, just, just keep them uh, calm. You know, as long as they're calm, they can go out there and make plays. Um, just have them keep their confidence in themselves. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that's about it. As long as they have confidence in themselves and they all stay calm with everything, um, they can go out there and make plays and get adjusted to everything. Rudy, you were part of a championship team here. Is there any one thing about it that you, that you think, other than the obvious thing of talent, that a team has to have to be to win a championship? What's, what's the key to being that good? Um, as we, we all come out there and play together. Offense, um, cheer the defense on, defense, cheer the offense on. Um, even the special team unit, everybody, we have to all play as one. Everybody has to do their job, count on me, and uh, everybody has to step up. And uh, just be, everybody be disciplined and, um, you know, just take the coaching the right way. And, uh, you know, it's going to take us a long way. All right. Thanks, guys. Thank you.